everybody and happy, happy, happy New Year. I hope all of you, all of us, have a really good one. Let's see if we can just have one good year. Wouldn't that be excellent? Um, what more can I say? Be creative, do your best, and, uh, and we'll all be all right, I'm sure. Today we're still on the Edith on the trail of the lonesome pine no we're still on the edith one um i haven't actually put any tags back into these yet but i'm just keep making them knowing that there's going to be three sections like this that we are going to need tags for journaling cards etc etc so i thought i'd just carry on and do a few more uh tags but different you know i want them these were the ones we did these are the ones we already have let's have a quick scan through the butterfly one you saw me make. The only thing I added to that afterwards was the little bits of washi tape because I'm totally addicted to it. I'm so addicted to Tim Hall's washi tape. Oh my, my name is Fiona and I'm addicted to washi tape. Uh, not just any washi tape though. No, it's got to be Timmy washi tape, which is not cheap. Anyway, that's that one, so that's okay. Then there's a blue one. You didn't see me make the blue one, but we made one very similar. And there's two of those. Yeah, we made the blue tip one, didn't we? Um, in fact, is there three? Yeah, this one as well. So there's three blue ones, so they're quite a nice ensemble. <laughs> Look at that blue tip. Oh man, isn't he cute? <laughs> it's so lovely. Uh, right. Uh, then we've got <laughs> blue tits in a different guise, this time on green. And once again with the washi tape. So it's two sort of green ones. And then the big robin, who's on green. He's also got, I don't know if you can notice, some splashes of rusty hinge, just to sort of complement his chesticles. There we go. So that's three green ones. So I've got three blue and three green. And then we've got all of these that are fairly uh, neutral, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, they're just text with a sticker and some stamps and stuff on. And they would go anywhere, I think, in the journal. Pretty much. Some smaller ones, really small one. So there's plenty of those, but they're all different from one another, so that's quite nice. So I'll pop these away in the box of Edith's stuff. I've got other things, you know, I've got those postcards I showed you. I've got, um, yeah, stuff. I've got Edith's stuff. But today I thought we might have a go at making these. There's a couple of other things I want to make as well today. Um, but these are just super simple. And yet they look quite pretty, don't they? These are just the Tim Holtz wildflower dyes that I've painted and embossed. And this is just the simplest of collages. I mean, it's two bits of paper. But one bit is Edith text and the other's music. And then a label at the bottom. So let's crack on, shall we? Otherwise we'll get nowhere. How about a roll call so early in the day? I think so. I think that's not a bad idea. Roz. Hi, Roz. Hiya, Jim. Kim. Hi Kim. Jen. Hello Jen. Michelle. Which Michelle? Pinsky. Ah, oh, hi Michelle. Mike. Hi Mike. Of Jen and Mike fame. <laughs> Gunny. <laughs> hi Jen, hi Mike. <laughs> you couple. <laughs> hi Gunny. Amanda. Hello Amanda. Bernice. Hello Bernice. Fancy Nancy. Hi a Fancy. And your husband Jim. Oh no, hang on. It's Will. Oh, I sent Nancy a message and I said, I was talking about her husband, Jim. <laughs> and and I know he's called Will. I know I made that mistake. <laughs> Did you? I now refer to him as Nancy Willie. Then Na I, Fancy uh, Willie. Fancy Willie. Then I don't forget. Fancy Willie. <laughs> Fair enough. Jan. Hi, Jan. Carol. Hi, Carol. Tamira. Hi, Tamara. Jen Lit Creations. Hello, Jen Lit Creations. Laura. Hi, Laura. Diane Patton. Hello, Diane. Violet. Hello, Violet. Uh, Nancy Beebe. Hello, Nancy. Terry. Hi, Terry. I 
I think that's everybody. Have I forgotten you? Shout out. Okie cokey. Let's get to cracking. <laughs> yes, hi Michelle and Steve. Yes, lest, lest we forget our our partners in crime. <laughs> right, so all I'm going to do with these first is just quickly paint them. That's the plan. If it's taking too long, I'm going to stop and um, regroup. I've also got these three uh, little fussy cuts of birds as well that I thought maybe would go... Sean yeah. Morris. Who? Sean Morris. Hello, Sean from Wales. That's a, a lovely name, Sean. Um, yeah, these three birds that I cut out of that book that I showed you last time, uh, the British Book of Birds or whatever it was, um, and that's that. Can I also say at this stage, and I know we haven't got going, I'm still rabbiting, but um, there's a there's a new collaboration that's um, doing the rounds. It's a sort of YouTube collaboration, and it's Gail Gostinelli, uh, Corey Darman, Creating with Scraps, Tracy Fox, Choo, choo, choo. Wendy's journaling adventures or whatever it's called you know what I mean um, and Marlies from Marley Designs I think that's all there might be somebody oh yeah Sue from Paper Inspirations that's right and the uh, hashtag for it is hashtag initially you 2022 and the idea is that those uh, girls are um, doing things like Sue from Paper Inspiration, she's chose stamping because of the soot in Sue and the soot in stamping. Marlies, because of the M, she's chose, chosen mixed media. Um, Corey has chosen collage and clusters. So they're really, I mean, they're, they're like my favourite people on, in, on uh, YouTube. And they're all together doing this collab and it's fabulous. So they all put a video out yesterday. Um... And really, they're worth watching. And if you can get onto one, you'll see all the others because they've linked them all, you know, under the under the video. Uh, but you know, Marlies at the moment, Marlies is from Marley Designs, is my favouritest of all because she just uses layer upon layer upon layer of Tim Holtz stuff, and I love it. So that's that of interest to you. I thought it might be. Um, I'm going to do my own little bit of. Um, I'm not in the collaboration, obviously, um, but, you know, you can join in. You can still use the hashtag. So I thought with my name, F, I would choose fabric. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, just kind of in between times and there's no set date or anything, but I'm going to use fabric. So there we go. Right. That's that. That's all I know now. I haven't got any more to tell you. All right. Oh, yes. Right. For the painting of the flowers, I'm using the zig pens. I've shown you them before. Um, these are they. And they're gorgeous and they're lovely to work with. I really like them. I haven't got the full set by any stretch of the imagination, but I've got some. I've got enough. So... Um, I've got a variety of greens, but I bet you I go for olive, <laughs> given that I always do. Uh, what does that say? Olive green, and what does this say? Mid green. Well, that looks like a sort of lighter olive to me, so I'm going to hang on to those two. Um, I'm going to start with this one, which is looks just like all leaves to me. So, um, where's my a water brush? Here it is. So this is just a, it's a derwent as it happens, but it could be any water brush that you like. Uh, it could be one from Ali, could be a Caran d'Ache, whatever. It's just a water brush. So I'm going to take the lighter of the two, which I think is this, and I'm just going to add a little bit to the bottom of the leaves like that. And I'm going to get my water brush and just drag that out a little bit, just so we've got a little bit of um, shading shading tommy and joan say hi hi tommy hiya joan happy new year to you both guys so just a little bit just down at the bottom then just get your water brush this is the same mixed media paper that i was using um whenever i used it you know on the for the ink 
backgrounds that we were doing. Was that you pulling in a little bit? Yeah. So just a little bit, just at the bottom of the leaves. I'm trying to be quick because otherwise it just gets away dull, doesn't it? It gets boring. No. It does a bit. So if you're fairly quick about it, and because it's mixed media paper, you can go in and move that ink around, that watercolour around. And if you've got too much colour, wipe the wipe it off your brush and then just go back in. Your brush will act like a sponge and, and pick it all pick it all up. So this is a nice thing to do if you've got like 10 minutes and you you, you know you, you don't want to get all your stuff out <gasps> you know all your stuff um, but you just want to do something that's going to be handy and you can just stick it in a box and it'll be there for when you want it so We've had our dinner already today because I've told you before we've taken to having our dinner in the middle, well not the middle of the day, early afternoon let's say. Um, because <laughs> we Is find it, what it old people do? I was just going <laughs> to say we find it's what sits best with us now that we are old. <laughs> I seem to remember my mum having sort of cooked lunches as well, you know mum and dad. Um, and, and just thinking, oh, that's just an old person sort of thing to do. Well, now we're old, so that's what we're doing. And we like it because... It sets me up for my afternoon nap. <laughs> well, there's that. Um, but also, you know, you can get all the dishes washed and put away. And if, if you're doing it in the evening, we don't have a dishwasher apart from Mr F. And um, you just get all your dishes done and everything and you don't have to think about them. So this is all I'm doing, it's pure repetition. I'm putting a little bit of dark nearest where it's growing from, i.e. the stem, and pulling that colour out. Janya says hi. Hiya Janya. Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a really, really, really good one. I hope so, my goodness. So if it started to dry, just move your water pen over it and it'll start to move again. Like that. Okay, we'll get in there. That's fine. Now I'm just going to take the darker one, which is the darker one, this one, and I'm just going to just touch in at the tip the, where it meets there like that. And then I'm not going to drag that out very much. I quite want it to be dark there. It just gives the idea of of it being real, really. I'll, I won't even pull it out. I'll just leave it like that. So I'm going to emboss over these anyway. So, so uh, yeah, we drew the winner for the Tim Holtz journal. And the winner was Sharon Hales. Um, and she... She's delighted, which is lovely. Um, and, I mean, what else have I done? I haven't done anything else, honestly. Right, so that's that's that. So you can see that it's darker as you get in further towards the the stem. You can't really see that, can you? Can you? There you yeah. go. And it just makes it look a bit more lived in, I was going to say. It's not lived in. I can pull further in, but you'd have to move further out because you're at the bottom of the page. All oh, right. Uh, yeah, do it then. Do it. Do it. Do it. Well, I could move the entire shebang. Shebang. Anything could happen here, so hold on to your hats. There's an earthquake coming. Oh, I see what you mean. Move the whole thing. Yeah, well, I can't go any further in yeah. without losing you off the bottom. All oh, right. Don't lose my bottom. I'll have a drink. Cheers everyone. Happy New Year. Can't change the laws of physics and all that. 
That's marvellous. Marvellous. Well done. Right, so what colour shall we make him then, this flower here? Pink? Mm -hmm. Possibly. Yellow? Possibly. Yeah, yellow and ochre. That's a bit of a bright yellow, that one though, isn't it? I'm just going to use ochre and orange, I think. Those two. I think they'll be fine. So the same thing. Put your darker colour on nearer the bottom, like that. Get your water brush and just drag it up to the top. Yeah, Sharon Davies says you're on the telly. I'm on the telly? Oh my goodness me. Feels like you're here with me. Oh, well that's nice. Oh, and your shades moved down as well, so that's blocking your top of your head. <laughs> it's all going wrong. Well, it's a new year. New year, same... Same old rubbish. Same old rubbish. So just pull out all that strong colour that you've put down there. Uh, Jen wants to know, did you purchase them individually or as a set? The uh, Zig pens? Yeah. Well, Jen, when I purchased them, I put it on the group about them because they are from... Um, Graff City. Graff City, G-R-A-F-F, -F, here in the UK. And they are selling them off at five... Five for a quid. One quid. For five. For five. <laughs> but you could order 20 of them, um, which would be four sets, and you might get some repeats. I got some repeats. But honestly, for a quid, we ordered a tenner's worth and just got loads of colours. It's lovely. I love them, actually. Uh, so, yeah, that's the story of the of the pens. That's the story of, that's the glory of the pens. And they're really nice to work with. You could use watercolour. Absolutely, you could use watercolour. I'm just using these because I've got them. Right, so that's that. So now I want to put some these stamen things in. So I'm going to go in with this sort of... Oh, I don't know, I might need it more orange than that. Let's go for an orangey one. Oh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Never mind, we have a water brush. Right, I'm thinking they are a bit bright. So I'll just get some water through there. Just dampen them and blot them off. Like that. And that'll get rid of some of the colour on there. Same if you're using watercolour. Just dampen it and then blot it off and it'll go away. So now I just need... Um, <laughs> put too much water through there now. Just need to green this up green me up um so I'll just do down the stem oops a daisy and i think that's the only other one i'm going to do actually the daisy because i've got other things to do so just pull that out up to the top same as we did with the other one like that. That probably needs a little bit more green in it. There we are. So that's that. And it looks kind of more natural, I think. So I'm going to do the daisy because it's my favourite. I love it. Um, so what colour am I going to do it in? Well, I need a kind of grey colour. I don't know if I have a kind of grey colour. What have I got here? This is deep blue. This is grey-brown, that might be a contender. Grey or peacock blue, okay. Um, I'm going to go for the grey-brown because it looks a bit not so frightening. And I'm just going to go in just a little bit, at this, just coming off the centre here. Just like that. Then in with the water brush. Let's pull that up. And you'll just get hopefully a bit of shading. It'll look like the flower's white. 
by the very fact that you've put the grey in. These Tim Holtz wildflower dyes, what did we do before we had them? They're incredible. They get used for everything. So there we are, we've just put a little bit of grey around that, around the centre, and suddenly it makes the flower look like it's white. You could, if you wanted to, put grey in at the... At the where is the grey that I was using? Is it this one? Yeah. Uh, just a little bit in at the tips if you wanted to, and pull it back the other way. Which seems to be what I'm doing. <laughs> Just go around and pull them in. Is Keong here? Is Keong on? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she's out doing something really exciting. That would be nice. Um, I haven't seen her, so I'm yeah. not. So there we are. That's our little daisy. Uh, I'm going to put the green on just while that dries. Um, that looks quite bright, but never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. So just in here, where there's a bit where it's coming off the stem. Darker down the middle of that leaf. And with the water pen again, let's pull the colour out. You've got the hang of it now, I know you have. So just wiggle into where you've put the colour, which will soften it and allow you to move it around. Michelle says she bets Keung is playing in the snow. Oh, is it snowing, Michelle? Ah, oh, finally, at long last, Colorado has snow. So there we are. That's that. Oh, that's a bit light. It's a bit light. On, oh, don't want the grey, I want the green. It's a bit light on those leaves, I think. So we'll just add a little bit more. I hope uh, you're not blocked in or anything like that, Michelle. Anybody en else anywhere got snow? We haven't got any snow. Um, I'm just going to block that off just to help dry it up a bit. So there we are. We've got these two and this one. So I'll do the rest. Um, myself I don't need to bore you with that I don't think let's pop that over there let's put my paint oh no I need to do the center of my center of my thingy what my daisy so I'm just gonna dot I'm just dotting around and not all over it I want it to look like the sun's hitting it somewhere. Sorry, Mr. Off, what were you going to say? Uh, Terry would like to know if you know what the prompt is for the next collab with Keong. No, I don't, Terry. I've, I'm so, I feel so guilty that I haven't done it, that I haven't got round to thinking what the next prompt is. But as soon... <laughs> this is one thing that I really want to avoid in the new year. I want to avoid the feeling of guilt. This should be fun. I should be having fun. And a lot of the time I spend feeling guilty because I haven't done this or I told you I'd do that and you're waiting for me to do this and it's not your fault, anybody's fault. I'm, I don't mean you particularly here, Terry. I'm talking generally. Um, it's, you know, it, things that I've said, oh, I'll do that and I never get round to doing it. And they're all in my head and I feel guilty that I'm not doing it. So I'm, I'm going to try and avoid that feeling of guilt this year and just have fun. And I'll bring you along with everything that I do. And if you want to watch, that's great. And if you think it's just pants, then don't watch. But rather than tackling big journals and things like that, that... I know you get fed up of as well as me because the viewing figures tail off as we carry on with the journal. So I don't really want to get embroiled in doing big journals this year. I want to do things, little projects that I'm going to enjoy. And actually, I think it will probably show up because if I'm enjoying it, I'm sure you'll enjoy it more too. So that's kind of the, the plan for this year coming. 
just to enjoy it and not to feel guilty. So I've just got my brown here and I'm just spotting like that. So now I've got the centre in my uh, daisy. I'm just wondering if that yellow's too bright. Jen says bite size project, wonderful idea. Yeah, bite size. Once that, you know, people, because often I think people look and they see part two. Now, oh, well, I won't watch that because I didn't watch part one. Um, you know, and so it goes on. I mean, if we're doing journals, we can have part 20. Can't we? <laughs> the way I go on. So, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm just going to do smaller things, things that I really get enjoy, instant gratification, if you like. <laughs> um, could could I just give those? Oh, no, they'll be in there. That's great. Right, so there are my three little flowers. Down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. There we are. Um, my daisy, my thing, and my leaves. I'm calling that thing because I've no idea what it is. And that one to me looks like a bird. <laughs> looks like a bird. Oh yeah, there's its <laughs> eye and its beak. Oh yeah, like a bird of paradise or something. Yeah. It's not a flower. But yeah, I can see where you where you're coming from. I can definitely see where you're coming from. Right. So what I'm going to do now is emboss them. And I'm going to emboss them using clear embossing powder. Um, I'll start with a leafy one because uh, it's had the longest to dry. And I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Dabber in clear. The way it says clear makes me think that it might be in some other colour. I've never seen it in another colour. I've never heard it mentioned in another colour. But anyway... Um, and I can't at the moment find the thing that you put down first, the anti-static thing. I've had a look for it and I can't find it. Sorry, Nancy. It will be somewhere. Of course it will be somewhere. Right. So I think that's it. And then I'm going to pour clear embossing powder on it. You're right, Mr. F. Yep. Sounds like you're about to say something or lay an egg. <laughs> One of the two. Right. So let's just shaky shake. There we are. Oops, a daisy. I'll just start my uh, dryer going so it gets warm. Oh, I know what I want, the pink. Thank you very much. So let's just emboss this first, for the first time. That's it, it's going, I can see it. it never loses its magic, never ever. She says she never gets tired of you watching you create so quickly. Oh, thank you. And I'm just going to put that back in there and pour, while it's still warm, pour some more stuff on it. Because I want, I want to do this two or three times so as I get it nice and glossy. Um, the, there is some uh, embossing powder around by a chap called Seth Apter. S-E-T-H-A-P-T-E-R and he does some stuff called um, oh Vintage Beeswax that's what it's called and I've seen it before I've seen Tracy Fox use it last night I was watching uh, Corey Darman use it and it's just I need some I so need some but it's just not available in this country I cannot find it at all and I don't really want to pay shipping from the US just for some um, embossing powder but if you are in the US and you can get it I'm telling you it's gorgeous it's real sort of natural looking resiny sort of colour there we go that's that I've forgotten how many times I did it two or three mm -hmm. three Mr F says and it's really 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 glossy and it looks thick and it looks lovely can you see it you can't see it it's just glossy 
Anyway, we'll leave that to one side on my lovely messy mat and we'll move on to, I'm going to have to put that away. Rachel Hughes says she always likes watching you, so talented and you always learn something new. <laughs> I don't know what you've got to learn today, Rachel, maybe nothing, eh? And Michelle says the same. Oh, Michelle. Right, so, uh, I'll do... I'll do this one next. Same old treatment. Get your. You could push it into one of your, um, you know, the pads that are made for. For embossing, you could just push it into there, and you'd be fine. You'd have the same effect. Or if you've got a pen, you could r rub it over with the pen. Whatever. There's lots of ways of getting this stuff to stick. And Laura says, does it make it look like beeswax, Miss P? The Seth Apter stuff does, yes. It does. And I cannot get hold of it. What a tragedy. There's a darker version that's less popular. Seth Apter's earwax. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, less popular. I wonder why. So, right, let's get this. Let's bring my pinky silicon thing in it's starting to go it's getting warm on my hand right let's just douse this in stuff again I've got two different sorts of embossing powder here so one's Ranger Crystal Clear I think it's called and the other is a really old one Paper Mania just says clear you can get ultra thick embossing powder uh, which probably does what I'm doing here but in one go I don't know I've never had it I don't know anything about it but you know if you do let us know Michelle says, have you used the Novo Glaze? Uh, yes. Well, it's Nuvo, I think, isn't it? N-U-V-O? N-O-V-O, I think. Hang on, oh. just a second. Um, yeah, this stuff. <laughs> How handy is that that I just had it there? Because I was considering the same thing. Why don't I just use that? But I haven't given it a try yet, so I can't tell you what. What effect it has. So this is its third and last time. Judy says the name. Judy! Hello, Judy. How are you? And a very happy new year. I hope you've had a lovely time. Hope you're back up and ready to ready to rock with the creativity. Right, that's that. That looks nice too. You're not seeing the whole effect of this, but it's really, really glossy. Take it from me. I'm glad I only did... Put it there when you turned it. Oh, did you? Oh, good. So it's time for the a daisy. I need to put my uh, stuff back in there. Oops. Oops. Let's see if I can get this back into here. I was watching Gail's part of that collab that I was telling you about and because her name begins with G she decided to use glitter oh my goodness what a mess but you need to watch it to find out but I'm telling you it's a mess <laughs> I'm not questioning Gail's creativity she's fabulous um, but yeah what what she did was the first one was terrible it was so messy so just making sure I get all the bits there we are tip my stuff on It's very quiet around here today. I don't know whether everybody's got a hangover or they're still celebrating or what. I have no idea. <laughs> but it's very quiet. I think everybody's just had enough. 
I think by the time it gets around to, to this time, people have had enough, actually. And Nancy says that the Nouveau takes a long time to dry. Oh, does it? I feared it might. That's why I didn't try it before this live. Uh, the glossy accents does as well, doesn't it? It's awful. The glossy accents, yeah, if you put it on thick, it just sits forever. That's it, it's going, it's going, it's going. Yeah, I'm going. I love this daisy. I, 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 I dread to think how many times I've used this daisy. Dozens upon dozens. In different colours, different guises, different uses for it. I absolutely love it. That's it. Let's shove that back in there. Just love the way you can colour it up. It's just gorgeous. Michelle says she's got some jars of ultra thick embossing powder. Ah, oh, yeah. One application like three coats. Ah, uh, that's. I was. I said to you. I wondered if anybody had that, and and I wondered what it was like. Maybe I need to be investing in some of that. I need to track down the Seth Aptor stuff. That's what I need to do. So there we go. That is our three little things cut out, painted and embossed and I'll bring them into view in a second once I get all my mess put away. I think it would be better if I had a long thin shallower dish for my embossing thing and then I could just sort of dump the stuff in it after I've done it once. I wouldn't have need for a piece of paper. Right there we go. Just wipe all this up. Lovely. Now then, there's our three thingy we majigamies. They don't look anything special, but I can tell you they're really very nice. You see it? So there we are, that's that. Hmm? Keep wiggling. Keep wiggling. We could see it when you tilted it forward. Let me just have a drink and I'll be right on the case. You've got the picture anyway, haven't you? I mean, it's it's thick and it's glossy and it's lovely. <laughs> right, so I'm going to move on to making those um, tags. Just in a minute, I've just got another job really that I want to do and I want to do it before I run out of time, etc. On this one, which is part one of the... Uh, trifold I decided to uh, feed a ribbon through from the back through that eyelet and tie tie it up here and I like that that's fine but for this um, closure I decided I'd try something different oops just kicked my own camera there <laughs> sorry um, so I thought that I would bring a piece of card through from the back make it into that sort of shape like a belt two eyelets and then put ribbon through that I don't know if it's going to work I couldn't tell you but in my head it works so let's get a long thin piece of card like this and I am going to feed it through from the back um, because I'm, I fear if I don't if I just start it there it might eventually work its way off so I'm bringing it through from the back. And it's not going to be this wide, that's ridiculous. Um, so maybe not that much. Not that much. Maybe about there, I think, would be good. Not sure that's straight, actually. Right there. And then we want this one in. Yeah, that's like a hundred miles off straight. 
that's not so bad there. Right, so if I have that one to there, I want this one to about there. Pencil. In fact, do you think we should measure it? That might be an idea, you know. It just might be an idea. Um, so this one comes in three inches. So that one is three inches to there. Yeah, that might be all right. Okay, let's let's fold this so they're straight, shall we? Diane says the daisy is her favourite too. Yeah, I love that daisy. I love the other one as well. There's another one that's um, yeah, this one. It's kind of like a daisy side on, I like that one too. I like all of them actually. And this one, which I'll try and get straight because it'd be much easier. So it doesn't matter now if that journal, if that section of the journal grows to enormously fat proportions, because it's a it's a ribbon, it'll grow to, to it'll stretch to um, accommodate it. So let's just put that off there at three inches from the bend and how wide do I want this it measures at the moment four and a quarter I don't think I want it that much really um, what, what does that measure like an inch and a half or something that is exactly an inch and a half Whoa. Mike says you can't go wrong with Timmy die cuts. Oh, you can't, Mike. Uh, and Rachel says, are they six die cuts? Sorry, missed the start. In the pack? Yeah. Mm. I think, is that the pack there? Yeah. Oops. Uh, just the behind the die cut machine. In, in a pack. In a pack. No, not in your... Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's possibly that one or it's possibly not. Uh, wildflower stems. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there's five, it says. Okay, let me just see if I can coax Timmy into cutting this. He doesn't want to, you know, poor thing. Anyway, there we are, we've done it. <laughs> yeah, these are there, Rachel. Um, five. Uh, I didn't cut that one, but um, that's that one. Um, oh, this is the one that doesn't have the daisy in. So there must be there must be another wildflower stems number three. So there's obviously a wildflower stems number one and two. Um, I think I've got them. I've obviously got another one because that's not in this one. Or that's not either, or that's not. So, yeah, there's three sets, I would say, reading that. Right, let's try this then and see if this uh, wants to fit. Yeah, I'd say that's, that's fine. That looks fine to me. Now, I'm going to get my... Um, oh, should I do that or should I do... I'm wondering where my Edith book is. Perish the thought. Yeah, the country diary, here we go. Right. So what I want to find is some text. Ah, look at that. Look at that. That's a lovely picture on the other side. But something's got to give. You can't I can't have both sides. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this text. So I'm just going to stick it over there and then cut it out. That's the thing to do. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I hadn't actually thought this through, can you tell? But it'll all be all right on the night. And I think I want the text um, just to stand out from there. So I'm just bringing it a little way round the back. 
and this is this side so I want that stuck there oh if only I had a blooming light bulb oh hang on I do let's get everything off before my glue dries on me thing and the German text. Yeah, the German text. Um, right, so I can see where my writing is, I think. It's there. So let's stick that down there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. So let's cut that off. So it went flying over your side, but I don't know what it was. Something flew off. Uh, not seeing anything. No. Particular. Okay. Catkin will get it later. Whatever it was. Nothing more than the norm, anyway. So just cut up there, and then around the top, and that should give us one side. No, not German text in this case, uh, Laura. Uh, I know you're very familiar with German, but not everyone is. So um, we'll use we'll use good old English. So I'll just stick that down there, and then we have an up and a downside. There's always an up and a downside, isn't there? <laughs> In life, there is always an up and a downside. Right, so now I want that um, to go like that, don't I? Yes. I'm probably making this absolutely the most difficult way possible. I do tend to do that, I've noticed. Right. You tend to do that when you're waiting for your brain to catch up. Do I? So let's pop that there. And I think that will be all right. Looks square, squarish. Yep. So let's cut that out. If this works, I think it'll look quite nice. I quite like the idea of a little sort of full belt around her to keep her closed. A full belt, yes. Um, right. So that goes that way, that goes that way. Yes, the boat the right way. My goodness me, what is going on? Okay. Bring in Edith. Let's see what's going on here. So that's going to fold over like that. And that's going to be our centre bit with the ribbon in. Now what I want to do is cut off those corners. And I'm just, I think I'm just going to use my shallow side, you know, my little side. I think the big side, yeah, it's just going to be too big. So let's just use the little side. See what it looks like. So that's what happened to your driving license. Yeah, I chopped it up. <laughs> no, I've got a new one. Yeah, I think that's all right. Do you think that's all right, guys? I think so. Let's do the same to the other side. I just think this will make a more interesting uh, closure than having them all just um, ribbon. Although there's nothing wrong with ribbon. Just, but I just thought this would be different. Lorna says hi. Hello Lorna, what a gorgeous new kit you have got in your shop. Oh, I'm so behind with your kits, man. It's untrue. Um, Lorna's got a lovely new kit in her shop, guys. Pop over, tailor-made journals on Etsy. It's it's Asian ladies. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So let's just check that this is going to work first before I ink it. So I want it down there. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. 
Let's see, head into the naughty step, head down in shame. Oh, Lorna. For being late. Well, you're beyond late. <laughs> you're just... You're very late. <laughs> Uh, right, where's my dauber? Here it is. Okay. And it is the new year. So I would have thought, you know, first out of the traps, you might have tried to be on time. But no. But no. I don't know if there's any of that lovely Christmas yumminess that Flo prepared for us all for the naughty step. Probably not. Everybody will have eaten it up by now. Right, so there we go, that's that inked. Yeah, Michelle's just asking how big the uh, backing pages are, um, but they're the full size book pages, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, full size book just page. What size they are off the top nine of Nine inches tall. Let's just check. Yeah, nine inches by six and three quarters. It's pretty much the whole page, minus that bit, you know, where you tear it out and it's got little crinkles in it. I cut that off, so it's six and three quarters. Right, so now all we need to do, says she, is put a hole in each end. And I want it in the middle, would be excellent. So I'm going to make a mark with my pencil, because I don't trust myself. Right, let's get this out. Now this has got a little thing here that allows you to move it so you can get more than, you can measure where your thing is for a start. But once you get it right, you can do the other one in exactly the same place. I can't see because the light's so bright. Uh, Nancy says she's going to the naughty step if there's cookies around. <laughs> Nancy, that's naughty, that's very naughty. I can't even see where this is, I'm sorry, the light's right on it. That's it. So let's bring this one up and we'll put it through the same place and then they should match. Lovely. Now I'm going to set an eyelet into them because that will have pressure on it and I don't want it to tear. It's card. I mean, it shouldn't tear, but uh, no, I don't want it. Uh, fluffy fish says that she found the uh, beeswax at Crafty Individuals, but they're out of stock. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Everybody's out of stock. Oh, I must tell you about another shop that I've found actually online. Um, I found it just before Christmas. I was looking for Tim Holtz stuff that was out of stock everywhere as well. Uh, and I found a shop called Luby Crafts. L-O-O-B-I. Luby Crafts. Um, and they're lovely. They're just such nice people. And I ordered from them and they um, sent my order really promptly, despite the fact it was over Christmas. And it came with a little chocolate bar in it <laughs> and a nice little note saying, you know, we thank you very much for your order and all that, which I really like. I appreciate all that. So I will be ordering off them again when I next need some Tim Holt stuff. When will that be a long time away now? <laughs> oh dear I go shopping every night you know every single night I go on my iPad and I go shopping <laughs> I don't buy anything most times but sometimes I do you like to browse I love to window shop I put things in my cart I take them out my cart <laughs> the thing about Lubycraft it's free shipping over 22 quid so um, that's you know You've got to get to 22 quid then, haven't you? And a lot of the Tim Holtz things are sort of four or five pounds. <laughs> so that's good, isn't it? You get about four things. Right. Hooray. I think we have achieved what we set out to achieve. So that's going to go there like that. And I'm going to use some ribbon to tie it on with. Now, 
I could use that, but that would mean I haven't got any for the next part of it. Because um, it's going to be three parts. There's this one. Yeah, I might use that one and save that for the third part. Maybe I'll just use a different one altogether. Who knows? So, let's just make that pointy. Um, I don't know how much of this I need. See, it works, doesn't it? I should, I mean, you could glue it down to the back now if you wanted to, but there's no point because when we come to glue this into the book, it'll get glued down anyway. So it'll all be all right. It'll all be okay. So let's just make a bow. Let's do that thing where you put it through three times or one extra time and it holds it still. Like that, marvellous. Just tie a bow and I'll just leave that like that now until we're ready to come back to it. Put my ribbon in my green ribbon bag. So yeah, that's that's the idea. What do you think? I think when it's glued down straight and there's stuff in it so it's a bit bulkier, I think that's quite a nice closure. Jen liked the closures that we did on the Tim Holtz and the Proto Timmy one and they were similar, weren't they? A similar idea than to that. So, right, so that's that. So what am I doing now, does anybody? I'm making up the blinking tags. Come on. Come on, come on. Let's, let's get my messy mat back. Was it my messy mat that went flying? Yes. Ah. But it didn't make the floor. All oh, right, okay. Thank you. Still got these blooming birds, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Right, let's cut some... Um, let's cut some tags. Is that going to be big enough? Yeah, I think so. I've got quite a few large tags, so I think it's time to cut back a little bit and do some slightly smaller ones. It's three inches. That's three inches there. That's three and a half. Three and a half is a... I might do three and a quarter. Three is a bit little. Three and a half is a bit much. So, you know what they say, three and a quarter, that's what I say, three and a quarter. So I've got three things, so I'm going to chop this into three. Diane Patton loves the faux belt idea. Oh, thank you, Diane. Violet says fabulous closure. Oh, thank you, Violet. And Tommy says the bow trick your shoulders works a treat. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Tommy? Honestly, I can't believe it. It's, it's it's a really good idea. We, I wish I could remember who, who said about that because it's excellent. Right, so I've got three here and I'm going to make three very, very similar apart from the flower sort of thing on the top. Um, I want some text and some music paper. I can't remember where I put the text, but there's some up there that will do. Um, here we go. I think this we must be alright with this because it's by Parry and it's the Pied Piper of Hamelin. It is um, orchestration, I think, of Handel's thing. Orchestration is not the right word. I can't remember the right word. Orchestral? Uh, arrangement. Arrangement. Whoa, there goes the Fabrotech. Right, so let's get a ruler out. And I'm just going to tear off down here in some sort of fairly straight manner, if I can manage. This is, as I say, it's the easiest collage in all of the world. Um, it's, it's just something to put behind our flowers, really. We only need one more bit, I think. This paper is beautifully soft, which is why it's tearing so well. Um, it, you know, if you haven't got soft paper, you might need to use scissors or your chopper or whatever. 
Right, so, um, yeah, that's going to be great. Let's just tear that just under that bottom note and tear it there. That's fine. So that's that one. Next one, have I got enough here? Yeah, let's tear that there. And a little bit up there. So it's just the easiest, really easy, but they do look effective when they're done. So that's all that matters. Tear that there and here. There we go. Right. So now I want some Edith text. And I'll just use this page because it's already been been used. I, th I think that'll be enough. Um, ruler, ruler, yes. Yeah. Let's just tear up there. And just the sort of narrow bits, I mean, you can see like that. I would say that's good. One. So I'm teaching you to count, obviously, as well. Amazing. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so let's, I'm just going to tear that top bit off because it looks a bit sort of straight. And let's ink around those and stick them down. Cut our tags to shape and I'm not going to do that over there because bits come off the thing and they mark your card. I've got your card marked. <gasps> just came to my head, it just sounded. So I'm going all the way around the Edith and with the, the music which is going under, I'm only going down one long edge and the two shorter ones. Like so. Sorry guys that it's um, a bit dull watching people ink. But you all know you have to do it. I mean there's no, well unless you don't ink of course. Which is, one would be one way around it. So yes, um, Corey who's organised this collab that I've been telling you about. Corey Darman. She um, has suggested that everybody choose a word um, for the year ahead. And, uh, well, I won't spoil it for you by telling telling you what people have chosen. Otherwise, there'll be no point you watching the videos, will there? And they are worth watching. Um, but for me, I think my word is going to be pressure. And I don't want any. I want no pressure whatsoever. Um, and the only person that puts pressure on me is me. So I need to have a little word with myself and stop doing that. You know, stop making unrealistic promises. Well, not promises, statements. You know, I oh, will do that, I oh, will do this. And then I feel so bad because I haven't done it. And you lot probably haven't even noticed, you know. I do. So that I'm really looking for a unpressurized year. You know, the, the long, I know that we love doing the, the dailies, the September and the January dailies, etc. But as I found out in January, in September just past, it's too much for me. It, it really is. You know, I'm not a spring chicken anymore and doing a, um, a live Every day is too much. Just can't do it. Um, so that's fine. I know that now. I know I can't do it. So don't promise that you're going to do it. I, I, I don't know if any of you watch Tracy Fox do a December daily. And on the 24th, which she filmed on the 23rd, she was just saying how exhausted she was. She was absolutely exhausted from doing a video every day. And, and it really is exhausting. Doing all the prep. Um, I mean, it doesn't seem like we're doing much, just sitting here chatting to you. But it does all... I don't know how to explain it. it, it it's... 
you're not living on your nerves, that's not quite right. <laughs> but it does take an effort. Let's just say that. It takes an effort. Um, and she was saying that, and she's like, you know, half my age. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do things that are unrealistic. So there we are. That's one. Let's just carry on with these until we've got all three done. I'm sure we all do it, you know, with family members and whatever. We say, oh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Oh, I'll meet you on Friday for, a, you know, lunch or whatever it is. And you walk away and you think, oh, why did I say that? I really don't want to. So, yeah, my my word is pressure, except I'm sticking a no in front of it. There we go. So this is as straightforward as you can possibly get, isn't it, really? And this is the other thing I think that I forget. You know, I'll show you how to do things like this. And I, I know I've shown you how to do this before. Let's be honest. To show it to you once, you'd have the hang of it and that would be it. And I always think, oh, I shouldn't, you know, I should be showing them something more. Something more. Just something more. And I forget that we have new people all the time. Every week, new people join our group. And they don't know how to do things like this. So, yeah. Just need to be a bit nicer to me. That's what I need. What's your word of the year, Mr. F? Treats. Treats. You're going to give yourself more treats? Yeah. Fair enough. Like days out or... <laughs> or chocolate or what? I'm not limiting myself. Oh, you're not limiting? <laughs> Just treats? Sounds good to me. So, yeah, it might be something that you want to think about. Um, not you, Mr. F, I'm talking more generally here. You know, have a, have a word that you think would maybe help you at times. Jen says, Mike, I don't want to go to work. And Fiona said it was OK. <laughs> Jen, if it was down to me, you would not work another hour in your life. You'd spend forever crafting and eating and eating what Mike's cooked for you. <laughs> so there we are. That's our three um, tags made. So now we've got these three to stick on. Cut out the shape. They look nice, don't they? I like the, I'm, I'm not sure you're getting the full hit of this, but they do look nice. Now, where's my little purple snail? Here he is. I'm just going to glue the back with my, oops, nearly tore them off. Oh, did tear them off. <laughs> oops, best not do that. I think when they're embossed, they're a bit more prone to coming off. They're sticky though. <laughs> Let's do it without glitter, like I should have done in the first place. Lorna says her word is naps. Yeah, naps, you know, that's a good word. I hear Julie from Camellia Crafts saying often, you know, that she's had a nana nap. And I think, what a good idea. But I'm too busy crafting. I can't I can't spend the time to go napping. We should have nana nap, shouldn't we, Mr. F? Yes. We should, we really should. Right, so I'm going to pop that on there and I'm going to sort of twist him around a little bit like that. But I like the phrase mega naps better. You like mega naps? That's, that's night time. That's what you do at night. Oh. Well, what normal people do. 
I don't. Maybe that should be my word then, not to, not to be so serious all the time. Serious? I don't know where that came from, but it's going back there. I can't see a gap where it came from. I need to lighten up. You're quite light. There we go. Um, and I'm going to put a label over that as well, um, just to finish it off. See, when you look through a journal and you see these sort of tags, you think, oh yeah, they're nice, but you don't realise how long it takes to make the blooming things. Mike says, Miss P's getting into trouble. I might have to send her to the naughty step. <gasps> no. Leading his wife astray. Mm, I'm saying nothing because I might get into trouble. It's best to say nothing. So let's pop that there and bring this round to there. Come on, you want to bend, I know you do. There we go. And I'm dabbing it down with my Timmy towel. Okay. And this one. Nearly there. Nearly there, guys. Yeah, and see what you mean about this one looking like a bird. <laughs> it does look a bit like a bird. Okay. I think I've gone a bit off centre with this as I've got nothing over here, but I think we'll be alright. I think it'll be okay. I need to wash my Timmy towels, <laughs> what I need to do. <laughs> right, lovely. Now then, I want a, a label along the bottom. And when I looked in my labels, I didn't have any that were suitable. So I've printed out some of the um, the lovely. field notes stamps so I can cut them out and make labels of my own. That's what I plan to do. Curious Moon Designs just joined us as these are beautiful. Oh, Curious Moon Design. Thank you very much. That's lovely of you. And how nice of you to join us. I think that's about square. So this is what you can do if you've run out of labels and you want something that's red or blue or green or whatever. Print out from your own stamps. Make your own ephemera. Um, you've got, you know, we've all got it. That's not sticking down. So there we are. I'm going to have to put that there because I've got a, a dirty finger mark there. So I'm going to have to put that across there, and I think that'll be fine once it's inked around. Um, this field label here. I want to just cut out the bit that says field label, possibly maybe even a little bit above it. So you need never be stuck again for labels because you've got them. It, as long as you've got stamps, you've got labels, whatever they are. And whatever colours of ink you've got, you've then got those colour labels. So that's going to go there, I think. And then I just need one for here. Shall I have destination? I like destination, it's nice and bold. Just cut it out. I need to cut, clean my scissors. I've got something sticky on them. I'm not surprised. I mean, goodness. So I'm quite liking the idea of adorning the Edith book with ephemera that isn't actually Edith if you know what I mean. So that's going to go there. Because none of this, uh, the text is Edith, yes, 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 you're right. But the rest is not Edith. But yet it, I think it looks really in keeping. So let's just whiz around those little labels with a bit of ink. You can see the shine on the daisy now you've got the background in. Oh, can you? Oh, good. That's good. So that's the this one. 
And Curious Moon says, Curry, sorry, coming in late. Are the flowers pressed to real flowers? They are lovely. They are Tim Holt's Sizzix die cuts um, called... <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. We just had this. Uh, called... Wildflower Stems. Wildflower Stems. And they're the number three collection. There's three collections of them. And what I did... You need, need to go back to the beginning, really, if you want to ha see. But basically, what I did was I painted them. And then I embossed them three times. So they're lovely and glossy. And they look uh, really nice. And it took just no effort at all. So let's stick these on here then and just cut the tops off in crown the edges and we're done. And I still haven't done the journaling cards that I meant to do, but never mind, I'll do them the next time. Let's just pop that there. I'll bring it out this way and then it'll do something to even out this bit that we've got there. That's that square. Mm, that's square, I think. Yeah, I've got mucky fingers. So there we are. This one. Before too much longer, I'm going to need a new bottle of art glitter. I can't believe that. But you know, if you keep using, <laughs> using it, what do you expect? Uh, let's pop that there. Oh no, oh no, I've got to put it there where the mucky mark is. Let's get that glue up from there. Curious says the gorgeous she'll watch from the start. The, the, it's nothing complicated at all. It's just that they look quite nice when they're done, I think. Let's stick that down over that stalk there. And the last one. It's nice to have you with us, Curious. Um, Happy New Year to you. And this one down here. I'll just bring that over this way a little bit. Just to make it a little bit different. There we are. Let's cut off the tops. And then we're done. Where's my driver's license gone? I've lost it. Sharon says she can't tell whether it's brown or maroon on the stamps. But it makes the card pop. It's brown. It's brown, my dear. It's actually archival sepia is what it is. Can you see my driver's license anywhere? Yes, here it is. Now, if I use the big one, yeah, that's all right. I'm going to use the big side. I thought I might be a bit near the top with the... Uh... No, it's fine, 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 fine. And I'll just finish one off because I'm sure you know what the other two are going to look like. So let's just ink around there. So it's quite sturdy card that I'm building the tags on. And I'm actually just going to put string through the top because they're kind of, they've got that look about them. Ribbon just would not be right. Oh, I'm going to finish the other ones. Sorry for keeping you, but I want to see what they all look like. Next time we'll make some journaling cards and stuff and then we'll see where we're up to with the, how much ephemera we've got and stuff and if we still need to um, still need to be making some or if we think we're all right. I think we might be all right. I don't care if there's too much ephemera. I'll just pop it in with the um, to the purchaser and they can have fun swapping it around. There we go, right. Quick ink. I like this sepia, it's dark. Um, I'm going through a dark phase. <laughs> there we go. I have never, ever, ever had a box of ephemera ready to go into a journal. Never in my life. All the journals I've made, I've always just made the ephemera as I've gone. And this time, I've got a box of ephemera. I don't know what's going on. So there we are. 
that will do us for today I think we've made these uh, and we've made the the band closure the belt closure whatever you want to call it for our thing is that it is that absolutely all we've done sorry guys felt like it was a lot more so there we are I'll bring them up so you can see them. I cannot. Ah, there we go. You see it. Yeah, that's it. And these are our labels that we made out of the field notes kit. That's it. So there we are. We've got three really nice tags. Well, I think they're really nice tags. Uh, they'll go in our journal quite nicely. They're sort of mid-sized because I've got some that are much bigger and then I've got some that are smaller. So these are nice middle size and I think they'll be grand. I really do. One with a leaf, one with a daisy and one with this fella. So what can I say? Thank you very, very much for joining me. I wish you all the happiest of New Year's. I really do. And I know... Oh, I know that we're all, you know, possibly going to have to encounter things we don't want to encounter. But let's just push on through. Let's do our best to make this year a happy and creative one. And let's remember to be kind, because after all, that is the fundamental. Be kind. OK. Oh, people like them. Oh, that's lovely. Hi, Peg. I didn't see you. Um, hi, Max. Didn't see you either. I hope this year will be kinder to all of us. Yes, Lorna, I thoroughly agree. Thanks, Fiona and Justin, says Mike. Hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. And Peg says, Happy New Year to all and Happy New Year to you, Peg. Right, I'm off. Given the fact that my word is pressure, the lack of, I don't know when I'll be back. <laughs> I will be back next Sunday, of that you can be sure of. At the same time, I'm, I'm always here on a Sunday, live. Um, and let's hope I can think of something groovy to do. <laughs> and I will pop up through the week, some of which may be live, some of which may, may be videos. I really don't know. Depends how I feel. That's the bottom line. It depends how I feel. So I'll see you. What was that granddad used to say? I'll see you through the door and he'd say not if I see you through the window first. I don't know. It doesn't make sense, does it? Anyway, I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves and look after each other and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you, Aaron. Take care. Be safe. Be happy. And I'll see you soon. Bye.